Hello students, welcome to this video tutorial on working with variables. Part A, simplifying by combining like terms. So let's start here. It is very easy to combine numbers. You've been doing it since grade one. Example A, two plus three, we combine the two plus the three giving us, of course, five, okay? And then when we combine a negative number with a positive number, 11 subtract six, this also equals five. Now, even though this is subtraction, this is still combining numbers, okay? So it is also easy to combine objects. So let's have a look at example A. Two ninjas plus four ninjas equals well, that equals six ninjas. Okay, six ninjas. Okay, example B, six zombies subtract four zombies equals two zombies. Now, let's go to an expression that's a little more complicated. We have eight ninjas plus two zombies subtract five ninjas plus three zombies. So what you want to do is you want to look for things that are similar. So if I look at the ninjas first, I've got positive eight ninjas and then I've got subtract five ninjas. So if I were to combine these two, and these are called like terms, eight ninjas subtract five ninjas is three ninjas. And that's, of course, positive three ninjas. And then if I look at the other term, I've got positive two zombies plus three zombies. So if I were to group these two like terms together, positive two zombies plus three zombies is positive five zombies. Okay, so see how we group those things together that were similar. So when we write our answer, we can write it one of two ways. We can put the ninjas first. We can have three ninjas plus five zombies and this is very important this plus sign here because it was actually positive five zombies or if we were to flip this around we would we could write it as five zombies plus three ninjas. Okay, this positive is very important because it's positive three ninjas. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. So let's go on to the next few examples. So it is just as easy to combine variables. Now when we're talking about algebra, we always think of this, we always hear this word variables. Variables can be any letter of the alphabet and it represents an unknown value. So if we have 1a plus 1a, now whenever you just see a letter alone, it's one in front of it. That's kind of invisible. So if we were to substitute a for another common a letter word such as apple, we have one apple plus one apple, and that of course is 2a or two apples. Now in between the 2 and the a, there is a hidden but invisible multiplication symbol. This is actually two times a that we write as two a. Now it's very important that you understand the, the basic vocabulary of algebra. So this a is called a term. And this a is also a term. So do you see why this strategy is called simplifying by combining like terms? A and A are alike, or they are like, so we combine them together. All right, let's go on to the next example. 3E plus 4E equals 
Very good. 7e. Again, in between here, there is an invisible multiplication symbol. This means 7 times e. All right, so let's look at the terms here. We have a u, we have a u, and we have a u. So let's start with this part here. So 10u subtract 2u is 8u. And then we have 8u plus 3u. 8 plus 3 is 11. So this is 11u. Okay. So now we're going to look at some more complicated ones. So let's look at this. Now you notice that it has a combination of numbers and variable terms. So we have to make sure that we separate them into two different piles. So first let's isolate the numbers. We have 3 plus 5 minus 4. So let's do mental math. 3 plus 5 minus 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 minus 4. So if I were to kind of link these guys together here. 3 plus 5 is 8 minus 4 is 4. And that's actually positive 4, isn't it? Now if I were to change colors, let's look at our algebra now. Okay, So we have 10c, positive 10c, subtract 7c. 10c subtract 7c. Well, that is positive 3c. Okay, So when we rewrite our answer, we can write them in either way. But what we usually do is we usually write the term that has the variable first. So this is 3c plus... Four. Now you see why it's called simplifying because we took this long expression and then we made it into something shorter. Now sometimes you see this but it is not correct. Okay so I kind of don't want you to write it that way because your grade 8 teachers will mark it wrong. Okay you got to have the variable first and then the constant. Remember numbers are constants. Okay, so now that we've done one, let's see if you can handle the next one. So we have now x's and y's. Remember, x's are different terms from y's. So let's look at the x's first. So if I were to circle positive 5x, subtract 3x. Well, this is pretty easy to do mental math. Positive 5x, subtract 3x is... 2x, and in fact, it's positive 2x. Now, if I were to use a different color, now let's look at the y's. I have positive 2y, subtract 4y. So what is positive 2y, subtract 4y? Well, that's negative 2y. So when we go and write our answer, okay, what we try to do is if we only have variables, then we try to write them in alphabetical order. So in alphabetical order, x, become, x comes before y. So let's write the 2x subtract 2y. Now we don't put the positive here because without a positive sign there, it is just assumed to be positive. Remember your rules of standard form. Okay, all right, let's look at the last most challenging one. So I'm introducing something different to this, um, this question, and that is g squared. Okay, so no big deal. Let's isolate the g squares. So we have g squared, which is 1g squared, plus 4g squared. Okay, these are like terms, so we can add or subtract them. 1g squared plus 4g squared is 5g squared. Or if you want to be sure, it's positive 5g squared. Okay, so what do we have next? Let's look at g's. We have a negative 3g and a positive 5g. So what's negative 3g plus 5g? Well, just concentrate on the integers. Negative 3 plus 5 is positive 2, and then don't forget the g, positive 2g. 
All right, and then lastly, we have just two numbers. Positive 4, subtract 2. Positive 4, subtract 2 is positive 2. Okay, so now let's rewrite all of our terms together. Now, in this case, well, there's only one type of letter, G. So what we do is we write the G squareds first. So this is going to be 5G squared. And then we're left with plus 2G. And then we have plus 2. Do you see how this expression is just so much simpler in simpler form than this expression? Now, I use color coding. You can use underline. You can use stars. You can use circles. Whatever helps you. Okay? So this is this ends part A, part A simplifying by combining like terms. So please show Mr. Ueda your completed note, and he'll give you some uh, uh, worksheets to work on. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.